everybody agrees that finding your purpose is the key to happiness. That if you align your career with that purpose, you will become successful. And even though purpose is far more important than money and fame, if you find your purpose, that wealth usually comes along anyway. Oh, and everybody also watches YouTube videos on finding your purpose over and over again. Except for the ones who actually found their purpose. And that is a tiny percentage. So how do you get from this group of purpose seekers to the one who are actually experiencing it? Hi Rebels, my name is Kai and today that's exactly what I want to talk to you about. We will talk about a model that's called Ikigai and how that helps you achieve and find your purpose and stop watching those videos and experience what life with a purpose actually looks like. When I was transitioning between jobs and careers, there were three things that held me back. So let me take you on a journey, what I've learned starting with number one. There is only one purpose and that one is static. When I first considered changing careers, I was very worried because I really enjoyed what I was doing at the time. And so every time I thought about my purpose and what I could do with my life, I went back to my past, thinking about what I enjoyed, thinking about what I was good at. And that always led me to the things of the past and that held me back massively. Over the years, I realized that this worry is completely unnecessary. See, first of all, I can like more than one thing at the same time, so I can have multiple purposes. And equally, the purpose that I'm following right now, that isn't a life sentence. You and I develop and grow over time, and so your purpose can also develop, can also evolve over time. Ikigai is a concept that developed from the well-being concepts of Japanese medicine, and it includes four circles, four spheres that overlap and that represent what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs and what you can get paid for. And because it does contain all these elements, it helps expand our thinking towards more than one purpose. By the way, there is a link in the description box below that lets you download a worksheet that I developed but also used in the search of finding my purpose. But there was a second thing that also helped me back from finding my purpose, and that had to do with preconceptions. A purpose is something that you do. When I first thought about what my purpose is, I wanted to think big. And I mean Elon Musk big, like bringing people to Mars. Well, I can't do that, but creating a company that solves a big problem or helping entrepreneurs or bringing joy to young people things like that. But the problem I faced was this. I had no clue whether I would be good at anything that I dreamed up because I haven't done it before. Of course not. And you could say, yes, I could experiment, but if you're equally impatient as me, then you want to know up front whether you are spending your time on something worthwhile or you're wasting your time. And of course, that led me straight back to my past, to the things I already knew that I was good at. And so I felt trapped because at the same time, I knew in order to develop, I have to move forward. But then I realized that Ikigai allows me not only to put down things that I would do, but I could also put down skills. I'm very organized, for example, and I love creativity. And both of these things doesn't sound like a purpose. But think about the amount of industries that are purely built on creativity or organizational skills, like all the big consulting firms. So don't be afraid to list your skills in the Ikigram worksheets because it expands your view and lets you move forward from the past. Now, I think of myself as very open-minded and unconventional and free-spirited. And so I was shocked when I learned that the final thing that held me back from finding my purpose were prejudices and a lack of self-awareness. Let's talk about self-awareness first. I always thought that if I love something sufficiently, I will always be able to make it work. I will always eventually become good at it. Except I'm not. There are things that I love and that I suck at, like music or making cookies. So what I suggest here is that you take all your topics and your Ikigai worksheet 
and you take it to a friend or even better, take it to an enemy and ask them what they think about you, what you're good at and what they can see yourself succeeding at. And I'm not saying that you have to rely on their judgment, but sometimes it's really good to get a sensibility check. The second issue that I face is that sometimes when listing all my interests and what I love, I judged prematurely. I came up with something like hiking and thought, there's no way I could ever make money with that. And there is no way that anybody actually needs that. And yet here we are in 2021 and we have a whole industry that's worth millions of travel bloggers and YouTubers. So overcome those three obstacles and you end up with a long list of topics that may be themes for purposes in your life. And you will also have accurately assessed whether they are suitable for you. So please let me know in the comment section below what you learned in the search of your purpose. Download the worksheet if you haven't done so already and make sure that we can see each other in the next video by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Take care.